so so let us try to see i am given a vector a which is say like 2i cap plus 3j cap minus 5k cap and another vector say b given as as say 4i cap minus 6j cap plus 7k cap and say another vector given as as minus 2i cap minus 5j cap plus 7k cap right now if someone asks me to to find out a minus b then what happens i i have my 2i cap plus 3j cap minus 5k cap minus 4i cap minus 6j cap plus 7k cap and that gives me 2i cap minus 4i cap plus 3j cap just this is together 3j cap plus 6j cap minus 5k cap minus 7k cap right now i i cannot cannot put a parenthesis here for obvious reasons you understand if i have to put a parenthesis here i should be writing this as this correct now what do i do so 2i cap you you even otherwise see 2i cap is is twice the length of this minus 4i cap is what it is is four times this length so so it is and it points in the opposite direction and you are trying to sum them okay this is 2i cap so when you sum when you sum it what do you do you shift it you shift it okay you shift the whole thing so that so that it's it's tail touches the head of this and and this is what you have to do right so, so this is what it is so what you get is if this is 2 in length this is this is whole 4 in length then then this part right the the remaining part is what so you and what do you do you you take a vector that starts from the tail of the first and and ends at the head of the second so you are left with this what is its length two units what is its direction minus i cap so this vector becomes minus 2 i cap do we see that it becomes minus 2 i cap and, and and so what happens it is as if here it is 2 minus 4 i cap is it not and here 3 plus 6 j cap and here here minus 5 plus 7 k cap right so 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 what do we get we get minus 2 i cap plus 9 j cap minus 12 k cap right we get that so we just have to operate on the coefficients as we have been operating you collect the the same coefficients together and operate on them algebraically add or subtract them and then write i cap j cap or k cap whatever is required okay now if someone asks me so 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 if this is that now if if the next question is say what is 2a cap minus 3b cap plus not 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 cap okay 2a vector minus 3b vector plus 4c vector what do we have okay so what do we have 
this equal to so this is 2 into the whole a vector so 2 i cap plus 3 j cap right 3 j cap minus 5 k cap okay okay minus 3 times b vector that is 4 i cap minus 6 j cap plus 7 k cap plus 4 times minus 2 i cap minus 5 j cap okay plus 7 k cap right and now it becomes pretty simple so this is 2 into 2 4 i cap okay so I'll, I'll just club the coefficients together and write an i cap here right so it's 4 i cap minus 12 i cap minus 8 i cap okay plus 6 okay plus 18 okay minus 20 okay j cap is it not this is minus 20 this is minus 3 into minus 6 plus 18 2 into 3 is 6 right plus minus 10 k cap minus 21 k cap right minus 3 into 7 plus 4 into 7 is plus 28 what does that become k cap right now you just have to algebraically sum them so 4 minus 12 is minus 8 minus 8 minus 8 is minus 16 i cap okay plus 24 minus 20 is 4 j cap okay my 28 minus 21 is plus 7 minus 10 plus 7 is minus 3 k cap so it becomes that simple fine and why are we going into the depths of it because because we no longer will be handling the vectors in a graphical manner right will not be adding, subtracting, multiplying them in a graphical manner. Rather, we will be doing them in an analytical manner in which I am doing it right now. Correct. And vectors, as we will see, are an integral part of physics. Okay. They will keep on coming up with be it electric field, be it force, be it torque, be it momentum. Okay. It will keep on coming back to you. Okay. So, so we have to be pretty clear about what it means and how it is operated. Fine.